Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. For access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hello, crypto friends. Checking in on a bunch of names. We're going to look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, XRP, BNB, TRX, HOT, XLM, and BQX. Daily time frames, we have clear bear breaks. We certainly knew not to be trusting the bulls. The last bull spike that we saw was on two and a half minutes of volume. It then followed through with bearish action, and we continually reject from the daily exponential resistances. And here we are on Bitcoin in an area with no support until 3129. We have the bear volume going with this clear break to prove it. And we're in a mode or we're in a, a scenario where every single time frame is back to favoring the bears. We knew not to believe the bulls too much because the weekly and daily time frame were still clearly in downtrends, but now the four hour and the hourly are as well. So we have a bounce attempt trying to play out. 3385 was the low here on Coinbase and we dipped down just below it, but the bulls defended that with some high volume. So we're watching the hourly exponential resistances and the hourly lower highs. I'm looking at 3427 as the first resistance. If we break the hourly lower highs and get over the hourly exponential resistance, we play the zoom out game, which we're familiar with at this point. We zoom out, we look for a four hour lower high, we watch four hour exponential resistance, and for the bulls to regain any traction anywhere, we have to change the four hour trend. If they do that, we'll zoom out and look at the daily chart. Anything under 3658 is just a lower high on the daily time frame. So bears back to extremely comfortable. Daily RSI is not oversold. Four hour RSI bouncing from oversold conditions and that hourly RSI ended up dropping all the way down to almost single digits there. And actually when we were at the low of that candlestick, it was down to single digits. So hourly RSI levels getting to extremes before the bulls finally did show up with a volume climax. And I wanna talk a little bit about the alerts that we're looking at because as we go through different market cycles, there's different alerts that work really well. On the all-time high bull run in 2017, if you bought five-minute oversold RSI, it was an automatic winner. I can remember blowing my friends' minds when they were unfamiliar with charts, and they saw that signal and said, how is it this easy? Then we had the all-time high hit, and we started pulling back. And on those pullbacks, the first few months through March and April, the four-hour oversold RSI climaxes on the alert system were money. They were significant bounces every single time those levels hit. Then it changed and those levels or those signals were no longer ideal. The market environment that we're currently in after going through all of our different alerts, the most useful in my opinion remains the abnormal volume. And that's just showing us, you know, what's going on behind the scenes in terms of bullish or bearish money piling into the trades. So here's Bitcoin just looking at two alerts here. The black arrows are the abnormal volume on the hourly time frame, and the blue arrows are the overbought oversold climaxes. So I just want to focus on, let's just focus on the black overbought, or I should say the abnormal volume for now. So this was a red flag. When you see a dump and a bounce, significant oversold bounce, and we topped out, and then we look for consolidation. So on this hourly consolidation for Bitcoin, we're just looking for a higher low to form compared to the recent low of that dump. But if we start to see increasing bear volume, that starts to be a red flag. We want to see declining bear volume for a higher low to form and then bulls to try and see continuation. So as soon as we start to pull back and we see volume up at the top here as we leveled out, very insignificant, then the volume starts to creep up a little bit. A couple red bars of bear volume. We then get the abnormal volume alert telling us, hey, something's going on behind the scenes. And it started with bear volume. And then, of course, the bear volume just continued to pile on for the next five hours in a row. So it was an early indication of, hey, there's, you know, bear volumes picking up here, which is not what the bulls want to see when they're looking for an hourly higher low to form. And then down when we got towards the bottom, right before that volume climax occurred, we had another abnormal volume saying, hey, now we're really getting some extreme volume. And we bounced shortly after that. But just looking at the hourly time frame and the 15 minute time frame can give some short term clues as well. You know, 15 minute abnormal volume at the lows here, looking for these quick little bounces. And that's a signal of the bulls defending those lows and then seeing those bounces. And why abnormal volume occurs 
at the top of an uptrend or the bottom of a downtrend in many instances is because of the action that you have going on. You have a large amount of both bulls and bears battling at the same time. So when you're looking at a 15 minute oversold bounce and you're seeing extreme volume, you know that it's the last of the bears selling and it's the bulls starting to aggressively buy. And when you have both of those occurring at the same time, that's when you see volume climaxes and huge volume spikes. And we're gonna look at an example of, of Binance's abnormal volume alerts here in just a minute with some more examples of just shifts in momentum showing us an influx of bull volume and bear volume at the same time, which often results in the shift in trend in the short term. Ethereum on the daily time frame led the way to the downside, broke bearish and was very weak a good bit before we saw it on Bitcoin. So Ethereum broke support down at 110.37. We dropped off about 9% from that bear break and trying to see an oversold bounce here as well. Again, lack of support. After 100 psychological, we're looking down at 98.16, 91.55, 83.51, and those aren't even really clear support levels established. We ran from 80 up to 160 with very little support established on the daily. So now we're falling back into those levels. Look at the daily exponential resistance rejections multiple times leading to lower lows and on the four hour time frame, extreme RSI levels. So again, cannot stress enough that the RSI levels alone have not been good bounce signals in the last few months of this market environment. You can see that Ethereum's four hour RSI dropped down towards single digits and that is more extreme than it's gotten in a while. So again, just RSI alone is not reliable. You want to be very cautious if you're only using RSI for oversold bounce attempts. The hourly chart here got extreme. We're trying to bounce. Still watching the hourly exponential resistance. If we get over it, we zoom out to the four hour and we look for just a four hour lower high on Ethereum to keep the bears in control. Litecoin on the daily time frame. Also, it was positioned well for those bulls if we saw Bitcoin with any kind of strength. But this is just another example of the Litecoin bulls not being able to do it on their own the correlation to Bitcoin dragging us down, but still in a better positioning overall because we do still have this support level of 29.41. We have not lost the low. And again, Ethereum broke 10% below its recent low and Bitcoin broke maybe 1% below its recent low. So Litecoin still holding on the best, still positioned the best, but if we don't have a bullish environment, bulls are not gonna be able to do much on their own. Oversold bounce attempt here on the hourly time frame for Litecoin. The exponential resistance is about to be tested. If we change the hourly trend and get over the exponential, we zoom out to the four hour and look for the four hour exponential resistances to be the next battleground. Checking in on XRP. XRP was a lead bear as well. The daily chart did not prove anything over the last two weeks. We have a clear dump. The break of support was 31 cents and breaking 31, the signal, we dropped all the way down to 286. So that's a very solid you know, 7% pullback or so. Let's see how much exactly from that bear break, about 7.5%. So looking at the oversold bounce attempt, we have the hourly exponential resistance on watch about to be tested. You know the routine, zoom out to the four hour, look for a four hour lower high if that hourly bounce gets any momentum going. Keeping in mind that the next support level for XRP on this daily time frame, 285, and there is nothing nearby after that. Look where we bounced off of, 286. So barely held that support, and after 285, there are a couple levels, but down at 266 and 252 as the next one. So there is some space between those levels. Daily RSI close to hitting oversold again as the bears regain complete control in this current market. Binance had a dump and shout out to Alex from Nuggets News because he was all over this sell the news event for Binance and Tron. We had a the BitTorrent launch. So it's an example of, extra strength on the daily time frame running up into this event and then the actual launch leading to a bunch of profit taking and you magnify that with correlation to bitcoin bears and that's only going to magnify the amount of a sell off that you see so we had a bearish reversal candlestick on the daily time frame this is a spinning top it shows indecision we're going to put out a course here in just a few days on essential candlestick patterns talking about things like spinning tops and two candlestick pattern three candlestick pattern reversals and the, the psychology behind them, but it was essentially just losing the hourly uptrend, indicating that further consolidation was coming. And then we bounced, set a lower high, and dumped to a lower low. And if we look at it on the four hour time frame, we had a support level, continuation, another higher low, maintaining the uptrend, 
lower high with an inability to break 722 lower low the four hour uptrend is lost lower high lower low so just following through with the loss of the uptrend on the four hour time frame now trying to see an oversold bounce we're going to look at the hourly exponential resistance anything under seven dollars is just a lower high and if we see any kind of significant bounce we're going to just look for a four hour lower high as well so we lost the daily uptrend now on binance this was our base of support at 624 we broke that level so now we zoom out to the weekly chart and look for perhaps a bit more weekly consolidation now that the daily uptrend has been lost so here's the alert system again just with the abnormal volume so look at the top the top we had an abnormal volume alert on the 15 minute time frame that's signaling the last amount of surge that the bulls can put together and the bears rejecting the price from seven dollars so again it's that influx of bull and bear volume at the same time that gives that alert and then we drop down we saw another little abnormal volume on the 15 minute time frame that's the bulls again showing up trying to bounce trying to fend off the bearish onslaught of volume it led to a 15 30 minute bounce that was just a bear flag we drop down again another abnormal volume alert down at the low and now we have this oversold bounce attempt playing out as a result so increasing bear volume matching bull volume at the top of an uptrend can signal the top of an uptrend the hourly time frame for binance here it is on the hourly chart abnormal volume after the bears rejected the price from seven dollars and significant dump to lower lows from that so trx with the same kind of sell-off and not as significant just in the sense that the positioning was a little better the higher low pattern has not been lost yet 2288 is that key support anything above it maintains the daily uptrend but obviously we pulled back very significantly we had a loss of the hourly uptrend back at 2928 that indicates some daily consolidation is likely coming and from that point it was nothing but lower highs and lower lows checking what the reversal looked like on the four hour we had a pullback still maintaining higher lows inside bar inside bar bear break the bear break was at 287 and we very quickly dropped down to 264 so a significant dump in reaction to this tightening range breaking let's see if it was an equilibrium on the 15 minute before that dump and here it is so low high of the bounce higher low lower high higher low lower high bear break bear flag bear continuation bear flag bear continuation so short term 15 minute time frame and again just seeing the four hour inside bars i know that there was an equilibrium somewhere as that's the most likely scenario of what you get when inside bars do, do form it's tightening ranges on shorter term time frames hot btc <clears throat> Sounds like that'd be a website trying to promote Bitcoin. But essentially, this is a low cap runner. Excuse me. <clears throat> so a low cap runner that's currently topping out. What was the indication of the shift in momentum? Hourly uptrend being lost. The clear hourly support breaking that was the clear signal of profit taking is 39 being lost. So we broke it here. We bounced. We dropped down to lower lows. At this point, the hourly consolidation, there's no major red flags. If we zoom out to the four hour chart, we can see that we still have an uptrend at this point. There's clear selling pressure with these upper wicks on these four hour candlesticks. But as long as the bulls can maintain three, two support, they're going to hold on to this uptrend at this point. If we lose three, two, or if we form a head and shoulders pattern with the left shoulder, the head hold three, two and bounce unable to break the recent top up at four six and we pull back and then lose the uptrend that's a bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern so the most important support is three two right now but even if that does hold we have to be watching for the potential of that right shoulder to form if we lose the four hour uptrend daily consolidation is going to occur and we could look for that daily consolidation to potentially potentially pull us back into the low three range xlm very clear bear break and on a lot of exchanges we're at all-time lows and there is no support so a lead bear for xlm just looking at the weekly time frame here 909 was the low and we dropped down to 83 on this most recent pullback the daily time frame broke our low of support long before anybody else we broke it you know four or five days ago bulls cl clung on to that support as well as they could but just inevitable dump with the bitcoin correlation the daily rsi is oversold this is clearly the weakest name that we're looking at because the weekly chart has dropped to lower lows nobody that we just looked at has dropped to weekly lower lows yet at this point and that is best case scenario for bears and worst case scenario for bulls bqxbtc 
daily time frame bear flag confirmed so a weak little bounce attempt and just a bad timing for that bounce attempt to take place with the dump in the sector that just occurred so inside bar broke bearish as soon as that inside bar breaks bearish at 48 the odds that it is a bear flag increase significantly the break of 46 confirms that bear flag and now we have a new daily lower high of resistance of 526 so we know that any bounce on the daily under 526 is just a lower high so we had a huge bull surge on one day of action with a little bit of pre you know some pre bullish action leading up into it and then the bulls haven't really been able to put anything together since then so on the 4 hour time frame clear downtrend to be watching we double topped at that 526 level before the bears saw another leg down and have to see a clear change in trend on the 4 hour time frame to be looking for the daily chart to try and bounce here but again bears in complete control with a lack of support nearby if we have to pick a support level out we're really looking down at 3434 as the next clear level so bottom line overall is the bears have complete control on pretty much every time frame we're looking down at our recent lows some names have a lot of space to work with we still have you know 25 percent on ethereum that we could drop before we get to the recent low whereas bitcoin only has a couple hundred dollars that we could drop before we get down to that key support level so we're continuing to watch if this weekly chart or if these weekly charts are going to drop to lower lows keep an eye on those volume signals i like volume more than i like rsi you can still use rsi you know making note when the four hour rsi is down in the teens but we need those volume climaxes to show the combination of both bull and bear volume which is the initial indication of that shift in momentum i appreciate you watching i hope you continue to do good things out there Canadian MJ still going nuts. We got Cron at all time highs. So again, just a reminder, there are other markets out there to get familiar with. If you are waiting for cryptocurrency to be bullish rather than trying to play bullish in this environment, I personally would be getting to know other market environments for future use. Thanks again. We'll see you soon.